Hi, lovely foodies! Inspired by the Filipino pork adobo, today I'm going to make an Asian-flavored braised pork cooked with lychee. Simple spices with no added oil or sugar. It tastes savory with some natural sweetness in the background. Now let's get started. This is the pork belly cuts available in my market. It's about 12 centimeters or 4.5 inch long and 2.5 centimeters or 1 inch wide. Usually, it's cut into smaller pieces like this, but I'm going to use the big chunks this time. This is lychee, a very unique flavored fruit, especially grown in tropical areas in China and some southeast countries as well as South Africa. To crack the open, use your fingers to fill the weak line around the stem side and pinch. The flesh will easily come out. Cut one side open. And pull the seed out. Lychees go bad easily, so do put them in the refrigerator if you do not intend to use them anytime soon. Have purple onion or sweet onion, spices you will need, a couple of bay leaves, whole white peppercorns, whole green Sichuan pepper, and some green cardamom. Now the flavor of the cardamom resides in the seeds, so if you have a modern pestle, just pound a few times. But you can just use a knife to crush them like crushing the garlic. Some Chinese black vinegar, but you can also use balsamic as a replacement. Some light soy sauce. Lastly, some coconut cream. Now we can cook. First, I'm going to render some fat out by searing the pork. Heat up a heavy bottom pan without any oil. Place the skin side down. Leave each piece with some distance so that when they turn to the size, there will be enough room. In the beginning, the skin may appear a bit tough to release from the pot. It's normal since there is no oil to start with. Turn the pieces to one side one after another, making sure the sides are touching the bottom. Don't crowd the pan. You will see the fat is slowly rendering out. When one side gets some color, it turns to the other side. Sear till golden brown, then take out set aside. Look how much the fat has been rendered out. Repeat with the remaining pieces. The skin may look a bit rough, but it's okay. Both sides have developed some nice color, and that's what you want. In the same pot, throw in the bay leaves. Roast for a few seconds, then throw in the other spices. Roast until fragrant, about 2 minutes. These whole seeds take a longer time to get roasted, but do not burn them to avoid bitterness. Add the onion, mix, and keep sautéing. Scrape the fonds at the bottom of the pot as that flavor. After about 2 minutes, the bottom will look clean again. Then slowly, the bottom of the pot will form a light layer of fun again, about 5 minutes. It means the onion has begun to turn light brown, which will introduce some natural sweetness. Now decrease the pan by adding the vinegar and the soy sauce. Mix well. From now on, the goal is to reduce the sauce till all the liquid has been evaporated. Mine takes about 3 minutes. Add the seared pork belly back in. Along with the juice. Stir to coat the pork. If you use big pieces like me, it requires some patience. But eventually, the color will become even. Then add some water, just enough to cover the meat. Mine took about one pint, 
but it depends on the size of your pot. Loosen the meat a bit to scatter the water evenly, then put the lid on. Bring it to a boil. Use the spatula to nudge a bit to prevent the bottom from burning. From now on, check once in a while. If your pot has high evaporation and the mixture looks dry, you may need to add some extra water. Use a fork or a knife to check the tenderness. The pork cuts I use have shrunk by 30 to 40 percent, and it takes 70 to 80 minutes to become knife tender. Time to add a lychee. Mix well. And cover it to cook about 5 minutes. Don't overcook, otherwise the lychee will lose its fruity flavor. Lastly, add the coconut cream. Mix well and cook for another 5 minutes. And it's done! Traditionally, Filipino adobo was served with white rice as it's excellent at absorbing the sauce. But I prefer basmati or brown rice as it not only cancels out some fattiness, but the coarse grains complement the mountain mouth texture from the pork. The meat should fall apart very easily. Pork belly cuts are considered fatty, but cook them the right way, it will taste like what the Chinese would call fatty but not greasy. A perfect stage for pork belly. I ended up having more meat, you know, just to show off how tender the meat is. But also, who doesn't indulge him or herself once in a while? You may replace the knife with a spoon. That'll complete the Filipino dining influence. Ciao.